What's up guys, Coop Perfect here and this is Everything West Ham where everything we talk about is West Ham. Um, the Premier League has now started. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win first game of the season. It was a one all draw away to Bournemouth. And um, yeah, you know what, it's, it's the same old with the David Moyes um, substitutions. Too late in the game, we go 1-0 up. We then decide we want to sit back and let them attack, attack, attack. Uh, the thing is, up to, up to that one nip, I was going one nil up. All before that, we was on fire. Bowen, I mean, I'm, I hope he continues the form all the way through the season. Suchet looked like a completely different person, and it kind of worked well because Rice was then the one normally pushing forward when it was Rice and Suchet, which actually gave Suchet. A lot more time with the ball. He was able to push on, come in for late attacks with crosses. We know he's really good in the air with his head, and um, it 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 just he looked like a completely different player with with Rice gone. So maybe we can use that alongside a brand new signing, which is James Ward Prowse. Unfortunately, he wasn't signed in time to play against Bournemouth, but he will be there. The same with Alvarez against Chelsea, which will be. Sunday at half four, but yeah, Paqueta looks good. We don't know if he's going to be there, but before the end of the transfer window, which leads us to a transfer update. Um, but a one all draw, okay, yeah, fair enough, it's not a defeat, but it's also not a win, it's not three points that we want to get on with, especially with the next three games that we do have coming up. Um, but yeah, so that was the one, one all draw against Bournemouth. Um, it's not the best result, but. There are positives, and I can take positives because I can see with the squad Bournemouth's got and the, the signings they've made, they will definitely, definitely be up there, I think. And, you know, it'll be exciting to see how they fare. Um, but, yeah, move on to the loan watch. Yeah, we've got a few players out on loan, four players out on loan to be exact. Nathan Trot, Trot is still on loan to the team that he got promoted with last season in the Danish league. Yeah, it's not worked out well for him this season. He has four games and lost four, but... Let's hope they can turn it around for his sake and the experience he gets. Uh, Freddie Potts, we know he's on loan to Wickham Wanderers. Again, not a really good start. They're 23rd in the league at the moment. But the, the staff have said that, um, yeah, he, he could be a player of pivotal role this season for them, which I hope. Uh, Christian Heggie, um, yeah, he was a shoot shootout hero in the um, in the League Cup for Stevenage. And um, he seems to be do, settling in really well there. So, Let's hope that he continues and gets the experience he needs for for us. Like I said, we needed a third choice goalkeeper. He could be the one if he continues like that. And Kamari Soria, um, unknown at Crawley, only played 15 minutes this season. He's not really getting the game time that he wants. But here we are only two games into the season. So hopefully we can push on from there. Um, let's talk about the uh, transfer details. There were signings that, yeah, we could be going for Harry Maguire. Again, I said it would be a good signing, but it's it's turned around now. And if, yeah, we want to we want to get a, uh, want to get a, which has led us to pursue other centre back targets like Jonathan Tarr from Leverkusen. Um, I think he'd be a good addition. He's big. He's strong. He's he's very tall. Um, and yeah, he's not he's not slow. He's not a guy. He's not a fridge. But um, yeah, there are there are signings that we are going in for. Again, there you've probably seen it over the over social media. Lingard is training with us again, and now there is a slight possibility that Link uh, David Moyes wants to bring him back. I am on the edge about this. I don't want us to bring in then that we are now second choice to him after he had a very poor season at Nottingham Forest. Now he wants to come home. I think we should say goodbye to that. I don't think we should bring him in. There are a lot of younger talents. Like I said, there is Kudos from Ajax, who we are potentially going in for. I'd rather him 10 times ten times over than God. I, 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 for me... If someone turns us down and then decides that they want to come back because it didn't work out for them, I don't care. I could not give two fucks at the end of the day. But, um, yeah, so that's another one. And um, El Wahi, 
um, a striker who um, he plays for Montpellier. Um, he's not really played that much. Of, I think he got off. Like, I think he's played about thirty minutes this season. A striker, young, twenty years old. Chelsea are in, are after him, so there must be something about him for for them to be going for him. So I want I want us to push in there and get in there beforehand. Um, but as the transfer targets going in, and um, there is news of a transfer target going out, and that is Flynn Downs. Um, kind of, it basically is a switch replacement for James Wood Prowse, but he is going to Southampton on loan, and it's a shame because I really did want him to play a, a vital part of the season. But you know, he come to us his first season. He won the Europa League. He did get a bit of game time, and um, I wish him all the best at Southampton this season. And I hope he gets the experience he needs for him to break into the t uh, West Ham next season. But um, yeah, so that's the uh, video today, guys. And uh, you know the deal. Please like and share and come on you irons.